Soul Train Awards 2013. <laughs> so how do you feel to be here on the red carpet, first of all? Um, well, it's really surreal for me to be here. I've never been to an award show, and just to be here at the Soul, not the Soul Train Awards with all these different stars next to me and to get a chance to perform and pay tribute to Dionne Warwick is a big deal, too. So you got stars literally next to you. So what kind of goes through your mind as you walk the carpet? Like, what, what, do you, what does that feel like for you to be accomplished enough to be standing next to such prestigious people? I, you know what? A year ago, I used to work at a, at a vacation resort. You know, to, so to go from that to standing here next to all these different stars next to me, like, this is Ashanti, are you kidding me? Like, I can't, I can't believe it. <laughs> so, I mean, literally, you were, you said you worked at a, at a vacation spot a year ago? Yeah, um, well, yeah, the show took about a year, so for about a year, for three years, I worked at a vacation resort. I was renting out golf carts and bicycles and stuff for people that were on vacation, and I would always sing in my office, but to go from singing in your office to singing at the Soul Train Awards is a pretty big deal. What a story. So, t what have been some of the keys to your success? Um, I think perseverance more than anything, because anybody that, you know, knows my story would know that it took me three years, you know, to make it on American Idol and to win the show, and now I get to put out an album that'll be out in February. My single will be out this month, so it's definitely, you know, perseverance and believing in yourself.